Hey guys, okay, this is going to be my um, video on the Thor 2 um, tra trailer reaction. So this morning I'm laying in bed and checking Facebook and my friend says the Thor 2 trailer has been released and I freaked out. Um, I'd heard online that they were going to release the trailer for Thor 2 and I was really, really excited. Um, Thor is my favorite Marvel superhero for several reasons. One, um, I just think it's really cool how he can do so much with a hammer. Like, he doesn't need a, like, Thor, he doesn't really need a lot of weapons. He doesn't need, like, a gun. He doesn't need a, you know, a shield. Like, he just needs a hammer and lightning. It's just, it's, to me, it's so simplistic, which I love. Two, um, I'm a huge, huge fan of Chris Hemsworth. I love his work. Um, I love, love him as Thor. I think he does a great job portraying Thor's insecurities, but also... His um, positive qualities, such as his bravery, his courage, I love him as Thor. Um, so yeah, I was really excited to see this, and I'm really pleased with the trailer. So let's start with the trailer. First off, um, we start off with um, Odin, his father, doing a doing a voiceover about how people don't think that you know it just was like humans were first. Um, you know, but then Odin's like, no, the gods were here first. And it has this really cool image of, like, of a car being tilted. I thought that was really cool. Um, secondly, we get a shot of Jane. Now, I loved the first Thor movie. I loved the relationship between Jane and Thor. They kind of balance each other out. Um, Jane helps Thor realize his pride and his ego, and then Thor teaches Jane about... Uh, being adventurous, and it's not all about the data, um, to kind of step outside our comfort zone. So I love that they were reunited, uh, my heart, it was really exciting. Um, yeah, so I liked that. Um, I do wish, though, I'm hoping for this, but probably not, that her friend will beat it again. Um, yeah, I really liked her friend in the last movie. I thought she was hilarious. Darcy, yeah, Darcy. So, um... I would hope to see more of that and Eric Selvig, but if not, then it's okay. So yeah, so I really loved how we got to see more of Asgard. I love, love, love that. I love how whenever Thor comes onto the scene, he's like, I told you, I will return. I was just like, ah. Um, it was really good. I loved how they went to Asgard, and it just was, you kind of saw it from like Jane's point of view. Like she's looking at all this, she's like, oh my gosh, this is like a beyond anything I've ever seen. Um, I, th I, th I thought that was really cool. I thought it was interesting between, you know, Lady Sith and, I mean, not, not Lady Sith, sorry, um, Thor's other um, female friend. Uh, I really liked their interaction. I maybe sense some jealousy between her and Jane just because, you know, she's like grown up with Thor and now there's this like mortal coming in. So I, I kind of see that. I definitely like Another thing I liked was the villain. The villain is um, is basically like dark elves are trying to take over uh, the earth. And I love who's playing it. Um, it's Christopher Eccleston. Now, for those of you who don't know who he is, Christopher Eccleston was in Doctor Who. I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. So I love to see him in something different. I really liked how you couldn't even recognize him as the main villain. Like, he was in so much prosthetic makeup. I thought it looked really cool. Um, so I'm really excited for the villain. Some people are suggesting that maybe the elves were sent by Thanos, which Thanos was revealed to be the major villain in, um, at the end of Avengers. So I'm interested to see that, but I think it's, I, I think, I think the elves are kind of on their own. Yeah, this trailer blew me away. I was hooked. Um, I really love the action. The action was so cool. I'm a huge fan of action movies. The action was cool with like Thor coming in during like a battle and like him like slamming his hammer down. I, I, I thought that was really cool. I also liked the conflict between again the mortal and Thor as a god because um, it stated in the trailer that like there's a reason why mortals should not come up to where the where the gods live. So I think seeing that interesting parallel was really interesting. I'm glad to see that explored. Um, I don't really mind Jane being in Jeopardy just because I think you like if their relationship was just platonic and nothing ever happened, then it would get really boring. 
So I like how Jane's in jeopardy because she's, it looks like she's captured by the evil villain, um, played by Christopher Clestion, the Dark Elf. So I think that's going to be interesting. Okay, so I was getting to the end of the trailer and I was like, okay, how are they going to end this trailer? And then, lo and behold, Loki appears and basically says to Thor, you must have been really desperate to come and call on my help. I found this really interesting because Loki is played by Tom Hiddleston and he basically was the main villain in Avengers and then in Thor 1 and then first Thor. So I found it really interesting that the director chose to have Thor and Loki work together. They are mortal enemies, mortal enemies, but they're both brothers and I found that interesting how Sometimes when you're so desperate, you have to work with your enemies. And I think that's going to be a really good idea. I think that's going to work out, probably not well at all, because Loki's Loki and he's not going to listen to Thor. But um, I, I'm definitely interested to see where that goes. I'm really excited to see where that goes. Um, that totally threw me for a loop. Um, seeing Loki there, I was like, whoa! I really liked that. Um, yeah, I was, I'm definitely a fan of that. Um, so yeah, this movie comes out November 15th, I believe, 2013, which it's still far away, eight months, but I love this first trailer. This first trailer looks so, so good. I love the first Thor movie. I saw it last year with my friend Joy. Uh, it just looks really good. I like the costumes, the acting, everyone's good. Chris, um... I'm losing everyone else's name. It's really bad. Natalie Portman is great as Jane. Um, Odin's good. Like the Christopher Kleshion is great. Is looks looks great as the villain. The costumes look great. I don't really mind being. I don't really mind it being a different setting. It being set in London, because I think it's interesting to like change up the setting from New Mexico to London. I really really like that. So interested to see where this goes. It being released the 15th, again, I feel like it's going to be like a battle of the Hemsworth brothers for like the box office. It'll be really interesting. Because Thor 2, Thor 2, um, The Dark World, comes out November 15th, but then Catching Fire comes out November 22nd. So a week after each other. So I find it's going to be very interesting to see who wins the battle of the box office. It's going to be really hard. I'm going to go see both. I'm a big supporter of both. Um, I love Thor, again, favorite, favorite Marvel character. I love Catching Fire. It was my favorite Hunger Games book. I'm a huge Hunger Games fan. So, I think it would be really interesting to see who wins the Battle, battle of the Box Office. I'm definitely going to go see both because I like both. So, yeah. So, tell me what you think. Do you like Loki being in the trailer? Do you think that it will work out with... Do you think it will work out with him and Thor? Do you think they can work together for the common good? Or do you think Loki is going to just go back to his evil, conniving ways? Tell me what you think. Again, um, comment, like, subscribe. Um, I should be doing more uh, videos soon. Um, I know we are getting a first look at a Divergent tomorrow by Entertainment Weekly. So I'll probably be doing a reaction video of that too. Because I'm also another big Divergent fan. If you, if you haven't read the book Divergent by Veronica Roth, it's really good. You should definitely check that out. But yeah, so again, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. And um, have a good night.